Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a search app. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a search app for spoken tutorial project and run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Android Studio version 3.x an Android phone with minimum of Android OS version 4.03. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of Java programming language and Android Studio. If not, then go through the relevant tutorials on this website. In this tutorial, we will create a search app. Using this app, the user can search and find video tutorials from the Spoken Tutorial server. Let us open Android Studio. Click on Start a new Android Studio project to create a new project. Enter a new application name as ST Search. Repeat all the steps as we did earlier. We will keep the default value for the remaining fields. Click on the Next button at the bottom of the window. Again, Click on the next button. The next window is add an activity to mobile. I will select empty activity and then click on the next button at the bottom of the window. In the next window, enter the activity name as first activity. Click on the finish button at the bottom of the window. Now the Android Studio IDE opens. Click on activity underscore first dot xml file. Delete the default hello world text view. I have designed the app with two text views for FOSS and language. There are two spinners, one to select the FOSS and another to select the language. A search button to click and find the desired output. Pass the tutorial and design the layout as shown here. Make sure that required constraints are added to position and align elements to other elements. You can refer to the previous tutorials in this series for this task. Note the attribute values which I have given for the tools. Assign the same value when you design the layout. Every FOSS in Spoken Tutorial has an ID associated with it. Each language also has an ID associated with it. These IDs fetch the related videos from the Spoken Tutorial web server. Those particular videos are displayed for the user to watch using the ST Search app. The source code used in this tutorial are available in the code files link of this tutorial page. Please download and make use of it when you are practicing. Let us go back to Android Studio interface. Go to firstactivity.kt. Type the code below inside onCreate method. Here we store the FOSS and language with their IDs in hash map data structure as shown. The key and value pair are declared as string and in data type. Here key will be the FOSS name and value will be FOSS ID. Next, we will write hash map for languages and their IDs. Type the code as shown. Here, key will be language and value will be language ID. When we select a FOSS, the language spinner should populate only the languages available for that FOSS. So, we need to create a dynamic spinner for this. Type the code as shown. Here, we have declared a hash map with string and array list. Here, key will be the FOSS and value will be the array list of its available languages. Next, declare an array list to store languages of a particular FOSS as shown. We will use this array list to fill our hash map FOSS vs language. First, we will write the code to fill array list with languages for one FOSS. Type the code as I have done here. 
Java course is available in English, Gujarati, Hindi and Kannada languages. I will write the code for the remaining FOSS and its available language as shown. We have stored all the required data. Next, let us create an object for both the spinner tool as shown. You may see an error or warning in the code which is highlighted in red color. Keep the cursor on the code and press Alt plus Enter keys to quick fix the error. Do this whenever warning message appears. Now we need to fill the spinners with the respective options. We need a list of available FOSS options. Type the code as shown here. This code will extract the keys of hash map FOSS vs FOSS ID to get the list of FOSS options. Likewise, we can extract the keys of language vs language ID hash map to get the list of languages. Write the code as shown. Here, we are converting it to a mutable list. So, we can change the list according to the FOSS selected. Now, we will create two variables to store the selected FOSS and languages. Type the code. We set these variables to none so that no option is selected initially. Now, we will create adapters for the spinners which will fill the options into it. First, we create an adapter for the FOSS spinner. Write the below code. We are using simple underscore list underscore item underscore activated underscore one method to highlight the option which is selected. We pass the FOSS options list as the data. Now, we set this adapter to FOSS spinner. Type FOSS spinner dot adapter equal to FOSS adapter. Now, we will do the same steps again for language spinner. Next, we will create item selected listener for spinners. First, we create a listener for FOSS with the required methods inside it. Keep the cursor on adapter view and press Alt plus Enter keys. Then select Import from the list. Place the cursor on the object and press Alt plus Enter. Select implement members from the available list. Add the required methods as shown here. Next, we change the list of languages according to the FOSS selected. Write the below code inside on item selected method. First, let us clear the list which was already present for languages. This code gets the FOSS from its position and saves it in selected FOSS variable. We extract the array list from FOSS vs language hash map. Then we fill language options with the languages. Notify dataset changed method is used to refresh the dataset whenever data has been changed. Now we create a second adapter for language spinner. For this we write the below code after the FOSS.spinner. Dot on item selected listener block. Here I have aligned the code for better view. Inside on item selected method, the language that has been selected is stored in the selected language variable. Next, we will write the code for search button click. Write the following code after the language spinner dot on item selected listener. Any code written between the blocks get executed when the search button is clicked. We write an if else code inside this on click listener block to check if the user has not selected any option. In the if block, if nothing is selected, a short pop up error message is displayed with toast method. And in the else block, we extract the FOSS ID and language ID of the selected options. Next, we will create a new activity called second activity. Here, the selected FOSS and language is shown as the output in the new window. Right click on the app folder on the left panel. Select 
new activity empty activity configure activity window pops up enter the name of the activity as second activity and click on the finish button at the bottom of the window click on activity underscore second dot xml we will display the FOSS ID and language ID in a text view. Drag a text view and drop it in the center of the layout editor. Set the constraints and align the size as shown. Remove the text attribute and keep the text view as empty. Change the ID to selected option. Change the text appearance attribute to material.large. We will launch this second activity from the first activity when the user clicks on the search button. Go to firstactivity.kt. Inside the else block at the end, write the below code. In the intent object, put extra method adds the FOSS ID and language ID. Finally, start activity method starts the activity. Go to secondactivity.kt. Write the code in onCreate method. Here, we use the intent object to get the FOSS ID and language ID from the first activity. Then we set the text of the text view as shown here. This will change the text view to show the FOSS ID and language ID. Now, run the Kotlin app. Launch the ST search app. Select the FOSS. Select the language, click on the search button. The FOSS ID and language ID is displayed as expected. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to create a search app for spoken tutorial. Run the Kotlin app to see the output in an Android phone. As an assignment, do the following. Select various FOSS ID and language ID in the app. Click on the search button. Check the output. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEA ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. The Android app and the script for this tutorial was contributed by Abhishek Shah. And this is Nirmala Venkat along with the Spoken Tutorial team from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.